Welcome everybody to Red Dead Redemption 2, part number 27. I'm Cow's Crazy, and we're back here in camp, and it's time for another mission. I'm on foot. Um, don't have my horse with me. There's Charles. All seems quiet, Charles. You don't make a convincing lawman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't have my horse with me, because the next quest is just on the outside of camp. We're going to meet Hosea there. And actually started here in camp. Abigail tells me that John and Hosea want to talk to me. Um, but that happened accidentally off screen. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it wasn't much. It was just her telling me to go talk to them. And then this part pops up. So it goes from an A on the map to an H on the map. So he should be just... Is he up the mountain? I thought they had a wagon. I guess they are up the mountain here. Well, it's not a mountain, it's more like a hill. They should be parked just outside camp here. Where are they parked? Inside the H now. Put it in H! Put it in H! <laughs> oh, it's the moonshine wagon. Remember that? What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? Yep. I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. And all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a grave boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Whoops. Not sure. I'm not a very good driver. The rest of you. Okay, okay. Horses. 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 Did do something? Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. like how Hosea says nothing about my bad driving. <laughs> but here's the road to the Braithwaite place. We're gonna sell their own moonshine back to them. It's very nice here. I like, like the trees along the road and stuff. Very nice entrance to the place. For some reason it kind of reminds me of the Forrest Gump Road. It's like, run Forrest, run! You know the one where he loses his braces and he just keeps on running and he learns he can run real damn fast? Yeah. I don't know. Kind of looks like that to me. Modest Lots little of... homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Oh, wow. Picked up a guard on her. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Now that he's on the back. Driver, proceed, please. Yes, I'm the driver. Now that the guard's on the back, what would happen if we turned around and just left? Instead of continuing on with the story like we're supposed to. <laughs> Never actually done that. Wonder what would happen. But wondering we'll have to be for another time. I guess that's why these guards are following us in. So 
we make our way to the front of the house. Big freaking house too. What Holy cow! Want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. So it looks like we're going to be we go. giving it away for free in the road saloon. Gray's ain't going to like that. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for him. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Mm. Yeah. That don't surprise me. It's uh, good that he sold those bonds. Right. thousand bucks for the camp, though. This could get up there. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. The blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. Yep. You know how I feel about it. Uh oh. That. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Mosey, please. I'm a clown. You're the idiot. <laughs> Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. Yes, put this awkward hat on. Smoke this pipe. <laughs> Smoke the Bring pipe. Bring your lip forward. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Yes, you've turned an idiot. Poor man is hot. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? <laughs> He's invented a character for him. Fenton. He's turned idiot. <laughs> also, Mrs. Boythwaite happened to mention cribbage. And while you can play many games throughout the world, dominoes and poker, Sadly, cribbage is not one of them. I learned to play cribbage from my great aunt when I was younger. It's a damn fine game. I enjoy it. It's an old ladies game, but it's a damn fine game. 15-2, 15-4. That's how you score. <laughs> Alright, here's the saloon. Really think they're just gonna let us walk in there and give the stuff away for free? That might be a little difficult. But okay, Fenton, let's go, Fenton. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Fenton's an idiot now. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This way, if anybody says anything, we'll go. You know, it's just some, just some idiot. My brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. Hmm. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton! Just hand out the liquor. Yes. What can we do in half an hour? These guys are gonna get the surprise of their life. Gentlemen! As we go behind the bar. Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, folks. Yes, come get a drink from Fenton. Raise the bottle, raise the glass. Oh yeah, look at that. Serve that drink. Woo! Yes, go Fenton. Serve that drink, Fenton. Boom, serve it. I'm sure he won't. Yes, don't want to dry, man. Oh, let's just keep going here. Yes, pour that drink. Pour that drink. Yes, look at it go. Look at look at that moonshine flow. Over here, Fenton. Killed his poor mama. Got dark damn quick. Uh-oh. I think we have some drunk people in this damn here yard town. Yes, go Fen. He's turned idiot. Uh oh. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Uh oh. We're having some problems with the Lemoyne Raiders. Boom. Goes the dynamo. Oh, that guy's not dead yet. Maybe he needs to be shot again. And again. Boom, boom, boom. Goes the dynamite. This guy's still alive? Get out of here, man. Cause me all these problems. Let's go. What about our pipe? Did we did we lose our pipe? We definitely lost our poor hat. Oh, I'd like to fence some of the loot some of these guys, but Shit. Shit, I kept missing. Oh, crap. <laughs> I think... Yeah, Jose died. <laughs> I couldn't hit that waiter in the head. Like, I was such a bad shot. <laughs> Does that guy know how lucky he was? 
Maybe I shouldn't use all my dead eye here. Save it for when Jose is in trouble. Boom, yeah, see? Got that guy. I got that guy right now. Boom. Boom. Come on. Oh, oh! That guy took a dramatic dive over the top rope. So did that guy. Let's follow him upstairs. Damn, I'd love to loot all these guys. Shit. I'd, I'd love to help you out there, Jose. But I don't know how this is going to turn out to be. That guy's coming in. Alright, here we go. Boom, headshot this time. There we go. I'm glad I saved you, Jose. I hate to see anything happen to you. Not that the game would let it. When it does, it makes you start again. <laughs> it's alright. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, crap! Oh! Well, come on, then. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I've, I've turned idiot. Um, can we get double guns going? Got more coming after us. Boom, boom, boom. They ain't gonna be chasing us for very long. Wow, there's a lot of them, aren't there? Keep driving, Hosea. No! Oh, man. He shot me dead. Right off the carriage and everything. Why do I always fail? <laughs> You'd think I'd do a little bit better at this since I've played this game like several times, but nope. Nope. I'm definitely not quick draw McGraw. I'm getting this out of here. Let's go, go Baba Louie. Oh, Baba Louie. Okay, double guns would be better here. I wish I had my freaking shotgun with me. Oh wow, that, that horse went flying, holy cow. Oh crap, we are not. I'm not doing well here. Okay, they're crashing at least. Um, you want, we need some more Deadeye. Shit. Hopefully they won't be able to cross the track. Oh shit, there's people in front of us. We're going right through this poor guy's barn. Oh, that, well, if he wasn't dead when he fell off the horse, he definitely is now. Is that everybody? Should we jump to the train? We still got liquor. Uh-oh. We run the liquor around here, they say. Damn it. Damn it. I'm running out of bullets here. Okay. Okay. We're good, right? Mm. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? 
advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Hmm. Let's go tell Dutch what happened. The shootout. Old Fenton held his own, though. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for me. Pay back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. A letter, huh? Looks like Dutch is... Always looking for revenge, but trying to... Not say it's revenge. <laughs> so we get uh, a couple more missions we've been told about here. Either go visit the Greys or back to the Braithwaites. Um, there's also another mission here in town with Molly O'Shea. Um, could go talk to her. We go go check out John or Hosea. It is of course Oh, where'd it go? Maybe it's not on the map right now. No, it's not. Maybe it's just because of the time of day. But there is that side mission with our good photographer friend. Might just be too late at night and he's not out taking pictures right now. But we'll sleep on it, and in the next episode, I'll decide what mission I'm going to do. Until then, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And, of course, moo! We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud.